come back to paper subscription integration this is the third step which deals with creating a plan okay you can associate multiple plans to a product for example you can have a trial plan basic plan standard and premium plan on a same product okay now there are two types of plans which we can do our integration as one the first one is the final plan the second one is the infinite plan a final plan deals with a fixed number of cycles where a buyer subscribe to a specific number of to a specific number of a month for example i can subscribe for just four months or five months where an infinite plan has no fixed number of cycles okay the the customer will be charged every month till they cancel their subscription all right okay so a trial period plan also is useful to let your subscriber try out your product for maybe a month then they can be built subsequently from the next month all right so this is the coil script for for a plan with a fixed pricing scheme okay yeah which has a try up try a trial period of what one month okay the interval unit is a month interval count one that means it to be counted every month the the subscriber will be billed monthly but for the first month they will have a free pass for the first month all right so this is the total cycles is 12 months that's a year then sequence two that means they'll be built in the second month first month will be free for them okay so for the payment failure threshold this means um, if there is a failure for example if the subscriber doesn't have money in their card and it fails for the first month the subscription will still be active the second month paypal will try to debit the card again if it fails the subscription will be active the third month when paypal tries to debit the card if it fails that's when the card will now be suspended so it sets to trade to try it out three times but majorly people don't like to set it that way okay so that is it um so this is the explanation of this but we won't be making use of this plan i have a better one because according to this our tutorial we'll be dealing with infinite plan where the user will be billed every month without any specific time for the plan to end okay So billing continues until the subscriber cancels. This is what we'll be using for the course of the tutorial. So I remember the total cycles of will be set to zero for an infinite plan. Each billing cycle is one month. So I'm going to copy this and convert the coin script to PHP. So I want to copy that and remember we have created our createplan.php file. Just paste it here. Sorry, this isn't our plan. This is what we need. Paste it there. Okay, we are going to modify this. Um, remember, this is where we created our product. Okay, the name is Video Streaming Service. Um, can just, but what we have here is Premium. The name is Premium Video Plus. Description: Premium Plan with Video Download. Okay, we can just make it to have the same name. All right, description premium 
plan future paste that okay all right remember um image URL remember to put your your website URL and the parts should find where your image is also do that here but for the course of this tutorial this is just test mode we'll just leave it at this remember to change this to your website url all right what we need to add here this is the product id this product id that we have generated here that is being passed in the url we are going to get it from here We can just open a new tag. Then product ID variable using the global get variable. <laughs> the name is product id okay also get the token the token was also passed and the name is access underscore token so we're going to put this ID here this is just a sample so we're going to just paste it there okay so that is it remember for the billing cycle total number of cycles is zero because we are working with infinite plan all right i think that's the changes that we need to make here then our payment failure threshold is only one so once the payment fails for the first month the user will be still be active the second month okay once it fails the user will be deactivated that's what that means it's only set to one all right so what is the response that we need here okay what we need is this plan ID that is the most important thing that we need so just going to copy this just that paste it there so else Find a variable college response. Using JC underscore decode and pass our result variable there. So our plan ID, variable name plan ID, we need the plan ID. So we're going to assess just this plan ID. Remember, this is the response once is, okay, this is where we're working at. Okay. Response then 
Assess the ID. So let's dump that variable and see whether we have a value there. Okay. Well, remember we need to add our token here. So clean that concatenated raw URL encode function, then pass our token. Okay. This is a mistake. All right, that's just about it. Okay, our post is empty. Need to copy that. Finance, infinite plan. So just copy this post URL. Paste it there. Remember the value, this is the amount we are subscribing to, which is 20. And the currency code is in USD, so we just can change that, make it $40. All right, I think it's good to test now. So I'm going to run this code, see if we can get the plan ID, see if we have a value there. So we need to erase this and access token. So from access token to creating of product, then creating of plan. Yes, it's correct. So this is our plan ID. This is the plan ID. So we've got now plan ID. So next thing is to, as this is successful, run our code using an if statement now. If the plan ID, if the condition is, if the value is created, then header, in that location. Uh, location might be the pay, let's say pay. This, uh, we'll create the file later, pay.php file. Okay. And the name plan ID equal to then concatenate the variable plan ID. Can also pass the access token. Then bring down the variable. So this will redirect us to pay.php. This is where we have our, our pay pass math payment button we can pay with our PayPal account or use debit or credit card. All right, so this token is from here. All right, I think it's looking good. Let's see if it's going to redirect us to pay.php, although we don't have the file yet. All right, that is correct. So we have in our URL plan ID, we'll have our access token and, and that's just about it. Plan ID and access token. All right, if you got value in this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share this video and stick to the next step.